program with a lecture. Thank you so much. Yeah. Can you take the echo down a little bit, please? <laughs> Sorry. No. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, first of all, I would like to thank everybody here tonight. Uh, welcome to the concert. Uh, first, I have to say I'm happy to be here for the first time in California. Uh, that's so great to be here. Yeah. Like, you know, <clears throat> uh, I am Solo Sisoko from Senegal, Casamance. If I see Casamance, Senegal, it is in the West Africa. Uh, Casamance, it is in the South. Yeah. I come from a griot familia. And my mission, what I'm doing, it's a jali. They call them in Mandinka jali, and they are griot. Okay, griot, <clears throat> they are historians, they are musicians, they are bibliothèque, they are conservator, they are poets, linguistic and they are advisor to the kings okay then tradition is coming to generation to generation you learn it from your father and my father he learned it from his father and his father learned it from his father okay first you start to learn how to build the instrument. Seven years, from seven years till 14 years, you are learning how to build the instrument. Set seven years. From 14 years, you start to learn how to play the instrument. A long time. I will take the history a little bit uh, <coughs> short because it's long. <laughs> yeah. uh, I can say before the colonization, it's like uh, if you see Africa, Africa map, okay, it's divided. You see Senegal, Mali, Ivory Coast, it's dividing, dividing. And, uh, but before they create borders, it was uh, one house, one people, and the griot having people history, responsibility. He was between the king and people. Okay, it was a lot of fighting between kings, and the griot was the peace farmer in Mandinka, Kairamo. Kairamo means peace farmer. His mission was to put kings together. No war. People are visiting him just to ask, where do they come from? You have to tell them till seven generation by the family name. The griot, he can also give a name to the baby, baptize the baby, the baby newborn. Kora is one of the instruments. After seven days, the baby here. And sometimes the griot have to go to the hospital and play for the newborn. Welcome, on, welcome, in, welcome to the world. <clears throat> Sorry. And when people, they want to get married also, they contact the griot. He can put them married and play the music for them. 
Uh, this tradition is going, like I say, from your father. Everything I'm saying here, I learned it from my father. And that the same way he learned it from his father. I remember my father was telling me, our grandfather, <clears throat> His name is Bambu Kumadi Sisoko. Sometimes, because he's a peace farmer, he was negotiating. One king wants to fight with other king. <laughs> they, were, they are in quarrel problem. But sometimes he can negotiate, but sometimes it's difficult. Some they are stubborn, they want to fight. But he have a white hest. Sorry when I say hest. <laughs> okay, uh, horse, a white horse. And he has a very strong voice. He will come when people are standing, want to fight, he will come and start to shout. When they hear, say, Alinga kele bula, alikana kele ke, kele manye. Kali ekidolulandi. Alkana keleke kelemaniya. When they hear that, that they know what, they will put all the gun and put fire on the gun and burn their gun. And they became brothers and sisters. Uh, uh, I would like to talk about the instrument a little bit. Okay, the resonance casa is a calabas, normal calabas. It's a half calabas, and the skin is an antelope skin. It can be cow skin also. And this tree, they call it keno. I don't know what is the name in English, keno, but it's one of the very, very strong tree. And the strings, are nylon. But before the nylon, they were taking animal intestine skin or the veins. But this cora, I have one of this kind of cora, is difficult because to take it in high pitch. When you play it, it's easy to break the strings. And that's why now they come to the fishing nylon. Tuning, I play it with four fingers. Yeah, two here, two here. And four fingers playing 22 strings. It can be 21 strings, it can go till 28 strings.
Griot, they have a repertory with 150 different songs. And in, my tra in our tradition, you have, after learning to build the instrument, you have to learn all these songs. It's like, after that, you pass your exam. When you pass your exam, you get your Kora. And these 150 songs, they start with the difficult one. <laughs> the difficult one is called Kelefa. It's very complicated. It's like five different numbers have to be played with four fingers. Yeah. <laughs> okay, after, if you manage that, for the rest, it's easy. <laughs> Tuning is just these things, you, you move them up and down. Okay. I will demonstrate this Kelefa, <coughs> these five numbers. Okay, first I remember my father was telling me, Solo, don't stop this. Don't stop. This is non-stop. Just always go. It's just my right turn playing. Okay, number two. Come the bass. Play. Now come number three. Okay, come number four. put the number five. <laughs> I have to borrow one finger. <laughs> okay, number five now. Kora bato be kumala ndambuma Salia julela
Salia Benda Munema Salia Kora Bato Bekumala Dambuma Salia Julela Afole Karsia Jama Akela Mansia Jelo Kuma Fobale Karsia Jama Kele Kela Mansia Ateli Malum Kele Fai Buluta Padra Birika Matara Fajo Kadu Baria Konkoma Fabaria Mindoma Fabaria Nimalo Manta Yomal Kiyama Eh like I say, the griot was the advisor to the king, between kingdoms and people. If the king, you are helping people with poverty, and helping building some center to give help to the sick people and the people. If you are not doing that, the Griot, the Jali was the one who are not afraid to die to tell the truth to the king. Don't think you are a good king. <laughs> people don't like you. You don't help them. And I am your Griot. Kill me. Uh, when the king is very generous, very helpful, the griot will create a song for the king. Atelimano, Teleman de Aloma, Teleman de Anukumasaya, Kelefabulu Tabasa Brika, Mataraba, Jokadu Baria, Konkoma Fabaria, Mindoma Fabaria, Katoje, Barijatoje. Alamati ya le jatola, Laila bekuma la jatoma, Dingo la jule bana la na na. Uh, yes, we will have a fun and talk. There is a lot to come after. And uh, it's great to meet some great artists living here with you in California. Uh, you, will s you will see them later. I am not alone. They are with me. We've been working a little bit, not time. But music can decide playing together. Uh, if you have some question about the jelly, the griot, about the instrument, you are welcome. Yeah. 
<laughs> Good question. Thank you. Uh, yeah, some, it's difficult. Uh, it's a problem. Sometimes you can meet some people, they are so kind. They can say, okay, you, it's an instrument, and it's not heavy. It's like uh, six kilos. They can accept you. But sometimes it's a problem. They want to send it like a luggage. Uh, you have to beg them, please. And sometimes I have to play for them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this baby. <laughs> Please, okay, you don't have a seat. You have to pay the seat for it. That is the uh, rules. rules. Okay, um, and this next time I will think about that. And, <laughs> and endly, <laughs> sometimes I can get it inside of the plane. But uh, many times they take it okay now. It's so fragile. It's a lot of fragile around. They can put it on the top of on the suit down there. And when they arrive, I'm the first to go outside, and they can give it to me hand by hand. That's better. Yeah. Yes. Because when you say the griot man, that is a, that is a griot woman. And them, good question, thank you. They have their instrument too called Karinya. Can you say Karinya? Karinya. Yeah, that is a woman, it's like kind of belling a bell, and they sing. They are controlling the singing. Uh, they don't play Kora, but because they have Karinya. Okay, you can, yeah, you have Karinya. You can demonstrate a little bit. <laughs> come, come. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, the, nowadays, they play Kora also, women, because uh, I have students in Norway that I have to say, 10 years now, I am living in Scandinavia. 